people are blessed to be surrounded by plants in a campus. There are so many plants, so many varieties of plants. When we look at them, some are very short, some are of medium size, some are very tall plants. And you won't believe these plants need different kinds of soil to grow, different environment to grow, right? And when we look at them, so how do we classify these plants? How do we group them up according to the similarities? Now, when we look at these plants, uh, we have two types of plants in our campus, flowering plants and non-flowering plants. What do you mean by flowering plants? These are the plants that bear flowers. Non-flowering plants are the plants that do not bear flowers. Now, types of plants. What do we mean by the word types of plants? As you might have seen, some plants are very short, some are medium sized, some are very tall. Some plants cannot even stand straight. They just keep creeping on the ground, whereas some have very, very weak stem and these plants, they need some support to climb up, right? Moreover, if you see the leaves also, the leaves are of different shapes, arranged on the stem in a different way. So many varieties of plants we have in our campus. So, let's see how is it. When we talk about types of plants, we have herbs which are very short plants, we have shrubs, then we have trees, very very tall trees, uh, we have creepers as well, which keep on creeping on the ground, then we do have climbers, which need some support for climbing up, okay? Uh, if we look at these three plants, these are very short plants, we call it as herbs. You could see they are almost green. Even the, their stem is also very soft, tender and green. And they have fibrous root here. When we talk about shrub, these plants are of medium size. You could make out the difference. Herbs are very short, shrubs are of medium size. And then if you see the branches, they are the shrubs are branching right from the base, okay? And then if you look at the trees, they are very tall. And it started branching at the top of the trunk, okay? When we are talking about tree, it is a huge tree of, with a very long stem. When the stem is too long, we call it as trunk, okay? It is, it is woody, it is too hard. And the branches uh, arise, start arising at the top of the tree, at the top of the trunk. See the difference when you talk about shrub, the, it starts, the branches start arising right from the base. Okay, see the difference here is branching at the base, whereas here is branching at the top of the trunk. Whereas when we talk about herbs, very short, very tender stem it has, they are very tiny plants, very short plants and then some, it, at times it has branches or uh, you, you could see a herb where there is no, not a single branch, okay? And uh, usually grasses, grass, all grasses are herb, all are vegetable and fruits what we eat, they all are herbs, even the medicinal plants. Let's see over here, when we talk about herbs, herbs are short plants, they are very small, stem is green in color, either uh, no branches or very few branches you'll find in herbs, the height is less than one meter fine and when we talk about shrubs shrubs are medium sized plants as you can see the rose plant keep it in keep in your mind is rose plant so they are medium sized plants height is 1 to 3 meters stem is hard it is narrow and woody they are bushy plants their branches arise right from the base of the stem okay they live for few years, they bear flowers. So this is all about shrub. Keep it in your, keep in your mind the example of rose. Now, when we talk about trees, let me show you. Trees are very big. As you could see in the picture also, trees are very big, they are very tall, they have a woody stem, they live for many years. They are tall, they are very, very strong, the stem is thick, it is brown and woody. The stem is known as trunk. When the stem is thick, 
and what do we call it as trunk? The branches arise from the top of the stem. The example is banyan tree. When we talk about the banyan tree, the biggest banyan tree, the largest banyan tree you will, be, you will find in the botanical garden in Kolkata. Now, the types of plants, when we talk about herbs, the examples are, example of herbs are mint, tomato, spinach. Sure example is rose, lemon, hibiscus. Let's go down to trees. The example is neem tree you might have seen, mango, banyan tree. Then let's see creepers. Creepers when we see, as I told you all, these are the plants with a very weak stem. You see the stem is weak. It cannot stand straight, straight like your tall tree or like your shrub. Okay, so what uh, it happens over here, it keep on creeping on the ground and then it has a very very big fruit. Okay, if you see creepers, uh, they are uh, long and they have long and soft stem. They are big and heavy fruit uh, and they live for very short time. The example of creepers are pumpkin, watermelon, cucumber. Now, we do have climbers as well. Uh, when we talk about clampers, the stem is again green. I'll show you over here. The stem is narrow also. It is weak and it needs support for climbing. As you might have seen, old people, when we grow old, we might go weak and then we too need some support for walking. We might require a stick, we might require a help of a stick to walk. Okay? So in the same way, when this plant, when the stem is weak, it needs some support for climbing, and uh, if it uh, clings to the support, let it be a pillar or a wall or a trunk. It just take the support and it keep climbing up. Now you might be thinking, why these plants cannot climb like this? Why do we call them only creepers, or why do they creep cropping? Why do they keep creeping on the ground only? What's the reason behind it? So these plants, they have very big fruits, very large fruits, very heavy fruits. For example, think of watermelon, think of pumpkin. They're too huge, they're very heavy, they are too large. And that's the reason this plant cannot, cannot climb up. It has to creep on the ground only. I'm sure you might have got some idea about the herb, sure, trees creepers and climbers. Children, as I told you all, we all are really blessed to be in this wonderful campus. We are surrounded by lovely plants and we have a beautiful, our uh, own Birlite nursery. So why don't we explore our own nursery? Let's proceed. So I welcome you, I welcome you all to the Brillite Nursery today. Here you see this nursery is maintained by the students of a gardening club. You could see variety of plants over here, the plants of all shapes and sizes. If you look at this plant, here today I have a strawberry plant for you. If you look at this plant, see so short these, these plants are and they have got a very, I have plucked one for you. See the stem is so tender. It has got a very thin stem, weak stem you could say. The stem is very tender, these plants are very short and they are the seasonal plants. Moreover, whatever vegetable you eat, whatever fruits you eat, they are mostly herbs. We call them as herbs. So once again, herbs are very short plants, they have very soft stem, they have got tender stem and these plants are short lived or you could say these are seasonal plants. Now coming down to shrubs if you look at this plant this is a shrub or you could say it is a medium height plant whereas if you look at the stem of the shrub the stem is thin but it is very strong now if you compare the stem of a shrub with the stem of a herb you could make out the difference the stem of herb is green in color thin and tender Whereas stem of shrub is again thin, but uh, again thin, but it is very strong. All right, it is woody. 
this stem is tender whereas this stem is woody now when we talk about shrubs these are medium sized plants we also call it uh, bushes you could say okay now the main difference is here the branches starts right from the the shrub starts branching right from the base you could see so many branches are there which are arising right from the base right whereas when we talk about herbs it has got either very few branches or no branches at all fine so shrubs are again the plants of medium size branching starts from the base the stem is little slightly thicker than the herb and it is woody right now when we go oh what's this just look at this tall tree now if you will see this tree uh you could see the stem of the tree when we talk about stem let us move from here see the height of the tree so tall and if i show you the stem let me go to the tree this is the stem of the tree imagine the stem of a herb the stem of a shrub and then the stem of a tree the stem is so thick it is so woody right see the bark it's just brown in color so when we talk about a tall tree the stem is thick woody okay it has got a brown color bark right what a huge difference and you see the branches of the tree the branches starts arising from the top of the tree when we talk about shrub the branches were right from the base and when we are seeing this tree the branches is right branch it starts branching right at the top now think of a banyan tree the banyan tree is such a huge tree it has got some supporting roots as well right now where could you see the largest banyan tree could you all tell me if you go to calcutta the botanical garden of calcutta has got the largest banyan tree now i'd like to show you one more plant look at this plant yeah we could see from here uh see this branch is going till top okay so the plant is so thin see the stem is so thin or you could say so weak you might have seen old people when they are unable to walk they take the support of a stick and walk right in the same way this plant the stem being weak unable to stand straight unable to stand erect so it needs some support like the old people right the way old people take a stick as a support and then they walk in the same way this weak plant needs some support so it starts climbing up on whatever support it gets right this is beetle for you and we call it as climber so you are aware of climber now when we talk about creeper so when we talk about creeper these are creepers these plants will keep on creeping on the ground and uh, the stem of this plant is also weak okay because the stem is weak uh, these people uh, these plants are unable to stand straight due to its weak stem and why they are creeping why are these plants climbing the reason is when we talk about the plants like watermelon or uh, the think of the fruit is so big so uh, it's so heavy that these plants cannot climb up due to heavy fruit they have to creep on the ground so we call them as creepers right so today we have talked about creepers we have seen climbers <coughs> we have seen herbs also whereas most of our vegetables most of our fruits are herbs and uh, they are seasonal plants when we talked about shrubs shrubs last for few years and when we have seen trees we talked about banyan tree as well all the trees you could see these tall trees where the branching starts right from the uh, tip of the tree right <coughs> so these trees last for many years so there are have some medicinal plants as well you could see this tulsi plant holy basil i have holy basil for you then i have another plant another basil basil plant of the family laminaceae then now you could see from here i have black pepper this is black pepper okay where the stem is again weak if you see the stem it is it has got a green and weak stem uh, you could see another climber over here look at this see the way it's climbing 
uh, the stem is weak and you could see some spring like thing on the stem some tendril like thing which clings to the support and it climbs okay so these weak stems and we we call it as climber whatever support it gets it climbs up and then it grows okay now here we have another plant for you that is mint mint is again a herb you it it uh, it's very short plant see the tender stem it is a seasonal it is a seasonal plant okay it will last for very few months you could say I have lemon balm for you, another herb, okay. Then come down to this is elaichi or cardamom, all right. These all are. Then I have brahmi, brahmi plant. This is the brahmi plant, okay. So these are all medicinal plants over here. This is a club. Now let's come down over here. Look at this tree. This is chiku tree. You can see the fruits as well. Okay, so many fruits are there. And if you see this one, look at this. Look at this plant. The branching arises from the base of the stem. All right. So we have seen plants of so many varieties of plants we have over here. We have herbs. We have shrubs. We have tall trees. We have flowering plants. You could see the plant, the rose plant over here. This is the rose plant. You could see the roses over here. Whereas the branches starts right from it starts branching right from the base. You see any rose plant, you'll find the branches right from the base. Look over here. If you see at this rose plant, look over, look look over here. This one, this rose, yes. See the branches are right from the base. So it is. Uh, uh, again, uh, you, it will last for a few, for a few months, or you could say for years. Then um, uh, we have plants which never bear flower. These plants are known as non-flowering plants. I'll be showing you a non-flowering plant. Uh, I'll take a little time to go there. Could we? Okay. So this is a lo this is fern, which is a non-flowering plant. Okay. We have seen flowering plants. We have seen non-flowering plants. So over here the reproduction is with the help of spores. You will get tiny black dots and uh, with the help of these dots this plant will reproduce. So that's all for today. We will meet in the next module. Thank you.